Hello and welcome back to my general anatomy lecture series lecture number 11 in which we will study about the types of the muscles There are main three types of muscles but they can be classified on different basis as according to their structure according to their function according to their development and the phylogeny Then let's start According to the structure the muscles are divided into skeletal muscles smooth muscles and the cardiac muscles we will compare and contrast them to remember them easily according to the shape the skeletal muscles are long and cylindrical while the smooth muscles are long and spindle shaped while the cardiac muscles are cylindrical and branching according to the nuclear and the striations the skeletal muscles are multinucleated and striated while the smooth muscles are uninucleated and non-striated and the cardiac muscles are uninucleated and striated according to the uh, their action and sustainability the skeletal muscles are rapid and unsustained while the smooth muscles are slow and sustained and the cardiac muscles have myogenic rhythm the nervous system that controls them skeletal muscles are under the control of the somatic nervous system the smooth muscles are under the control of the autonomic nervous system while the cardiac muscles are under the control of the autonomic nervous system examples for the skeletal muscles are all the muscles that are attached to the bones as their name indicates the smooth muscles are the muscles of the viscera's and the hard muscles are the example of the cardiac muscles according to the function the muscles are voluntary involuntary and the cardiac muscles have their own category the voluntary means the muscles that work on their own will you can control those muscles and they are under the control of your somatic nervous system while the involuntary muscles are not under your control they have autonomic nervous system guiding them to work automatically while the cardiac muscles have inherent myogenic activity uh, why are you keeping them in an other category because the heart starts beating before the nervous system's development that is why they have their inherent myogenic rhythmicity according to which it beats later on uh, autonomic nervous system modify them but not totally control them the example of the voluntary muscles are your skeletal muscles except the pharynx and the larynx you can control your arm your leg muscles you can eat on your own will you can walk on your own will while the involuntary muscles are the smooth muscles or the muscles of the viscera's like you can't control your uh, peristalsis or the movement of your gut example is the blinking of an eye to uh, cardiac muscles the muscles of the heart then according to the development they are mesodermal and ectodermal muscles what is the mesoderm and the ectoderm let's have a recap during development there are three layers develop uh, the ectoderm the mesoderm and the endoderm the mesoderm mainly give rise to all the muscles but there are few muscles that that get developed from the ectoderm for example the, all the muscles are mesodermal except the adductor pili muscles the iris of the eye they all develop from the ectoderm that mainly give rise to the skin then according to the phylogeny there are two types of muscle somatic and the visceral if you remember the somas the mesoderm during development differentiated into somas 
and the mesenchyme. The somas uh, divided into dermatomes, myotomes, and the sclerotomes, among which the myotomes give rise to the main muscles. Uh, the mesoderm also get differentiated into mesenchyme. Th those are loosely packed, uh, undifferentiated cells that give rise to many structures, including muscles as well. The muscles that develop from the myotomes are called somatic muscles, and the muscles that uh, get developed from the mesenchyme are known as the visceral muscle. The somatic as the name indicates are under the control of the somatic nervous system and the visceral muscles are, the under, are under the control of the autonomic nervous system. Somatic muscles mostly adjust our external environment while the visceral muscles adjust our internal environment. In our next lecture we will cover the skeletal muscles classification. Until then stay tuned, like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you.